what's going on my friends today back with another tutorial today i'm gonna to be showing you guys this kind of like weird mirror text through video effect that i created in adobe premiere pro anyways what this effect is is kind of like this mirrored 3d text you can see the reflections of the video within the text and then as the text goes through you're gonna see the video within the text so the text kind of has like this glassy effect i'd like to call it um so i'm gonna show you guys all the necessary little effects you have to do this is actually pretty simple all using adobe premiere pro built-in effects no plugins are needed i was actually inspired to do this from the beginning of this little yachty better music video and obviously mine is a lot different i'm guessing they use after effects for this they took a lot more time from this this is kind of like the dumbed down version but it still uses the same elements of like going through the screen as well as that kind of like glassy effect so if you guys would like me to break down this further and maybe get something more similar to this to kind of get that like metallic look um, in After Effects, then let me know in the comment section down below. That is something that I could do. But this is just the Premiere version that I thought looked pretty cool as well. The cool thing about this is you can actually color grade within this mirrored text. And then as it goes through, it's basically going to apply a color grade to this text. As you see before, I have it all gray, kind of dark. And then as it seeps through, it kind of like applies a color grade as it goes through. That's So that's another little cool thing that you guys are going to learn how to do in this tutorial. But anyways, let's take our first steps into being able to create this effect. So first things first, hold down Alt on your keyboard, take this clip, and then drag up. We're just going to make a nice little duplication. What we're going to do now is we are going to create our text. So let's go up here to title. Let's go to new title and then click default still and then click OK. And then we can just click here on our text tool and we can just draw this um, and we can write whatever text we would like to animate. And then we're going to make that 3D. So let's go ahead and just name this mirror text. And I'm using the Axis font. If you guys were wondering, if you just look up Axis font um, on Google, you'll be able to download this. So let's make it kind of centered just like that. And then let's go back to our project bin right here and then just drag that over our clips and then make the duration the full length of our clips. So now we have our mirror text right here across the full length of the screen looking very nice. Now here is how we're going to get the video within the text. It's actually very simple. All you need to do is go over here to your effects library. So click on this arrow, go to effects, and then we are going to look up just the word matte. So M-A-T-T-E, um, and you're gonna see under here for the keying folder, you're gonna see a bunch of different little matte effects. We're going to use the track matte key, and we're going to place that on the video clip in our second video layer. So we're gonna play to sit on our duplicated clip right underneath the title. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to our effect controls for that second video clip, and we're going to select matte alpha that's already there. We're going to select the matte as video layer three because that is where title is. So what we just did, you see our text just disappeared. If I hide my original layer, you're going to see that now we have the video within the text just like that. And I'll play it, and you can see that it's alpha matte tracked. It's looking good, and now we're going to be able to get that effect just by doing a few little adjustments so that we can see that mirror and then also animate it to be 3D and going through the screen. So what we're going to do to be able to do that is we're actually going to hold down control alt here and just zoom in a little bit and we can actually just use our arrow keys and move over maybe like two frames like that. And then we can take this bottom clip and we can just drag it back just like that. So we moved it over a few frames so that this is a little bit offset. And now we can actually see our text within here. Now that this is offset, you can even make it one frame if you'd like, whatever you think looks best, just so that you can get that little offset. And then we're going to change around the text and like I said, animate it to go through the screen so we can see it a little bit better. And you can see since it's duplicated, you can already see kind of like that glassy effect as I like to call it. So now let's go ahead and animate this. So, so let's actually make this fade in and get rid of this just black part at the beginning. Um, you can just right click on the very left edge of our duplicated clip and click apply default transitions. That's just going to make it fade in just like this. Another thing you could do is you can even just take the razor tool and you can just cut off the edges if you would like, however you'd like to do it, however you want to get it to match up. That's fine. So now that we're in our effect controls, we can go ahead and hide this just to see our mirror text. And we're actually going to apply a nice animation to this. I'm going to tell you guys the numbers I use for this just so it's a little bit easier. Or what you can do is you can just experiment with the keyframes to create your own animation of it flying through the screen. But I'm going to give you guys the exact values just so it's a bit easier. So, so what we're going to do to start off is when we're at our starting position here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to make the scale 58 just like that we can keep the uh, position exactly where it is just because it's already should be in the center however it is right there but 58 is a good starting size next what we're going to do is we're actually going to keyframe position scale and rotation and then we're going to move a little bit um, about here just drag a little bit and then we're going to make the scale of this around 80 something like that so here's what we just created we just created the small little growing of the scale from 50 to 80 just so it gets a little bit bigger next we're going to drag a little bit more to around right here and we're going to make the scale around 225 so click 225 and we're also going to click 
motion on uh, this box next to motion right here and we can just center that again like that and that's going to create another keyframe just for the positioning so here's what we created so far let me play that for you guys just a small little growing and then gets bigger like that and now we're going to add one more value so that it completely grows to the size of the screen so we're going to drag a little bit more and we're going to make the scale one one four two just like that and then we're also going to click the box again and we're just going to drag this down and we're going to center that once more so we're on the r just like that and then here's what we got going like that zooms in on the r a little bit now we're going to drag to the very end right here and we're going to make the scale six and we're going to make the scale six six zero one and click enter and then click on the box again and then just reposition that so it is the full size you might have to drag around a little bit to find it but just make it the full size of the frame just like that so now let me just go to the beginning and show you what we just did with those keyframes i'll play it for you we've got it going from 50 to 80 gets a little bit bigger now you can see going through this uh through the letters a little bit and then grows to be the complete size of the actual screen and go through the letter just like that. Like I said, you can make your own keyframes. That is what I use. Hopefully that'll help you save time. So now, so now we've done a lot of the work. All we have to do now is actually just make adjustments to this layer right here so that we can see the text a little bit more clear. So what we're gonna do is click on this middle clip right here and we're just gonna bump up the exposure a little bit. And that's gonna help a lot just to be able to actually see the mirror clip with this um, original one kind of made. What we can also do is we can apply any color grading to this clip because what this is is just the um, video layer within the text. So I'm going to go ahead and add a LUT onto this. I'm going to go ahead and add the Arapaho LUT just to kind of make that a different color. And applying the LUT is going to give you that different color difference whenever it zooms in from the original clip. Okay, so we did adjustments of our color grading. We added a LUT. We bumped up the exposure and the contrast a little bit of that second clip, um, the actual just clip of the text here just so it can differ a little bit from this bottom stuff um, and kind of give it that more offset. What you can even do is you can even bump down the exposure a tiny bit of the um, bottom clip like that just to kind of get a little bit more offset. Now the only thing we have left to do is to make this text 3D. So so there's a way I'm going to show you guys how to do this and it makes it a lot simpler. Um, and the cool thing about this is it actually fades from being normal text into 3D text. So I'll show you how to do that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to look up the drop shadow effect and it's under perspective. Once you've got your drop shadow effect, go ahead and drag that onto your text layer right here. You can also do this method by putting all the drop shadows on this middle one. Um, the only difference is if you put the drop shadows on the middle clip, you're going to see that this has more of like a black and more bold background. So if you would like to do that, you can. If you want to have more of like transparent text, you can do it my way. So either follow the steps and put it on this middle clip or what you can do is follow the steps I'm about to show you to put it on this top clip right here. So, so I'm going to put the drop shadows on the top clip. And as you see here, it just makes that a little bit more 3d already. Um, I'll just hide this clip just so you can see a little bit more. You can see that there's a drop shadow beneath that right there. just kind of giving it that 3d perspective. And now what you can do is you can pick a direction, which you like for the 3d to happen. This is all up to personal preference. Uh, I'll just keep it around like one, one by 174.8 and i'm going to make the distance two and click enter next what i'm going to do is i'm going to select that drop shadow click Control c Control v so we're duplicating it and make sure you're in your effect controls now all you have to do is change the distance of that one to four and then you can just do that again Control c Control v change the distance of that one to eight so basically you're just multiplying the distance by two i'm going to do it one more time i'm going to click it Control c Control v and then make distance from 8 to 16 just like that and now we've got that nice 3d text and now all we have to do is just adjust the opacity and it's going to get more bold as you see it's kind of a little bit um, more blurry so let's make the opacity 100 percent for all these top ones 100 percent and then we're going to keep the very last one 50 percent just because i kind of like how that 3d looks this is all up to personal preference you guys can mess around with this however you like um, and that's basically it. So now let's turn on our bottom layer clip just so we can see and this is what we got Looks pretty cool um, As we go through here, you can see this one's a little bit slower But still does the same exact thing this time it goes through the R and it just fades over and applies that color grade I think it looks pretty cool Like I said, you guys can change however you do the 3d by changing the direction or if you really want what you can do is just copy the top stuff delete all your drop shadows from your effect controls and then you can actually paste it 
onto the middle clip instead so just select all these drop shadows and you're gonna get something like that so it's a little bit different it's a little bit more bold it's a little bit more like black on the edges um, if you do like the drop shadow like that you can do it like that however you want to do it and you're going to get something like this or something like the transparency you saw in the beginning clip. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. The whole basis of all my tutorials is you don't have to follow along step by step. Just use the kind of like guideline path that I show you guys and then create your own thing. Create something cool using the steps that I show you guys. I hope this helped you just learn a new trick that looks pretty dope. I think this is a cool little effect. Um, I don't do a lot of text effect stuff, but I think this one was cool enough um, to be worthy of showing you guys on my channel. Anyways, guys, if you enjoy the content, please subscribe for more. I've got a bunch more content coming out soon. Please leave a like on the video. It helps the growth of this channel a lot. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you guys next time.